I wanted to share a little bit about how the book came to be. Because as I've said before, uh, just like my Morocco book, With Open Arms, I honestly was never planning on writing this book. And it started when I was working on my novel, A Voice Beyond Reason, in Spain. And I wrote some stories for friends and family about some of the humorous bathroom experiences I had had during my travels, including at some of the places where I was living while, while being abroad. I wrote the stories, I shared them, and uh, shared them with some family and friends, and then just sort of forgot about them. Well, 10 years later, once I'd published my novel, once I'd published my Morocco book, I was home for the holidays, and some of those friends and family who had read the original bathroom stories, as we just sort of informally referred to them, said, all right, you've published those two other books. When are you going to publish your bathroom stories? And I said, you know, I'm not going to publish my bathroom stories. I honestly had no, no intention of ever doing that. So I just, again, kind of dismissed, dismissed their, inquir their inquiries with a laugh and moved on. Well, the next year over the holidays, I got the same questions from, from family and friends. And, you know, when are you publishing those bathroom stories? And I thought, wait a second, you know, if people who read those stories are still thinking and still laughing about these stories over 10 years later when I'm not even bringing them up, then rather than be so dismissive, I need to hear that. And it seems as if some of these stories obviously resonated if people are still talking about them. So I came back to San Francisco and I dug up the stories. And the truth of the matter is, even then, I still didn't really think they were that funny. I kind of saw why people did, but I still they still really weren't working for me. But in the meantime, since I had written them originally, you know, I'd worked with an amazing editor on my novel. I worked with a lot of some ruthless beta readers. I worked with friends and my, my writing group, and I had really honed my craft. And so even though the stories, I didn't think they were quite up to snuff, I now saw how I thought that I could make them kind of what, that, what they would need to be for me in order to feel good about them and funny and entertaining, whatever the case might be. Well, in the meantime, also, like I said, 10 years had passed. And because I'm a budget traveler, you know, I had, I, and I'm willing to put up with a lot, I had had a lot more experiences that fit right perfectly in with, with these sorts of themes. And so I quickly realized that I actually did have a book here. So, uh, you know, I wrote the other half of the stories. I workshopped them. I worked on them with my writing group. I got an editor. I got feedback from beta readers, all that stuff that I just mentioned. And as a result, Porcelain Travels came to be.